In this video, we will learn how to analyze data in summary tables by making use of a special group field in formulas. In the previous video, we created this page called Month Summary. Timesheets are summarized by month, by month and account, and by employee month and account. Next, we would like to calculate the total dollar spent in each of these categories. For example, how much money did the company spend in March in the food science lab and on which employees? In Grist, there is a special field that is written as the dollar sign icon followed by the word group. Let's take a look at the formula in the hours worked column to see how dollar group is used. Dollar group contains the list of records that are summarized in a row. So in row one, this formula takes all the records in the January 2021 group and sums the hours worked in those records. Let's briefly take a peek at the count column, which we hid in the previous video. The formula to count records is len of dollar group. The function len counts all the records that belong to the group being summarized in a particular row. Len stands for length. Let's hide this column again. Another way to express a set of records is by using and defining a variable. In this case, we'll use the variable R, which can stand for record. We can rewrite this formula as sum of R dot hours worked for R in dollar group. This has useful implications for summarizing data using math operations, such as multiplying hours worked by hourly rate to get a sum of total dollar spent by month Let's do that now. First, let's create a new column to calculate total spend. The formula is sum of r.hours worked times r.timesheet.hourly rate for r in dollar group. Since each record r in the group is a record in the underlying table, which is the timesheet entries table, r.hours worked refers to the field in that table. In this table, the column timesheet is a reference column, which means that it is referring to an entire record in another table, in this case, the timesheets table. That means that it is referring to an entire record in this table, where we store the hourly rate. Thus, in our formula, when we include the timesheet column, which is a reference column, we need to specify which field from the referenced record should be calculated in our formula, which in this case is hourly rate. To learn more about reference columns, visit our reference column guide in our help center. So now we have total spend grouped by each month. Let's quickly format this column to make it easier to read. We can apply the same formula to the other two tables. Let's go ahead and do that now. In the second table, the dollar group field is grouping records in the same month and account. In the third table, the dollar group field is grouping records in the same month, account, and by the same employee. And that's it. You did it. You rebuilt the month summary page. See if you can apply these concepts to rebuild the contractor summary page. Let's take a quick look at it to refresh our memories. Start by grouping by month, then month and employee, then month and employee and account. Then add a timesheet entries table to pull up timesheets by a particular contractor in the same month and account. Be sure to remember to link your tables. If you need more help, there's a link below this video to the tutorial solution. Great job. 